Now, there's one other little thing we can do with this, just to give a touch more authenticity. And that is some accents on phrasing within the partido alto. So this is quite a th this is this will give it a real nice Brazilian authentic feel. If we go back to that partido alto, and if we think of right at the beginning, I said there's four notes on the beat, the three notes off the beat. Okay, so again we're thinking across the bar line, and if we think of that those two groups of notes, okay, you've got four on the beat and three off the beat. If you play an accent on the last of each group. Those are where the accents lie. And that is that really helps, okay? So so essentially, the way, way we've got it written on the chart here, the accent would be on, on beat two, and then, and then the first upbeat of the second bar. Yeah, so it's on like the last of the group. Boom, bat, boom, boom, bat, boom, 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 bat, boom, boom, bat, boom, 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 bat, boom, boom, bat, boom, 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 bat. If you go back to that Aieto Moera track I played you, listen to where the bass notes are. They play low and high, right? Boom, bing, gong, gong, king, gong, 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 king. And he does, he puts the hi hat lift in. It's on the last note of the group. Ding. Okay, here's a little trick that I I quite often use. When I'm playing my rim clicks, I can get two different notes on the rim click. I don't know if you look on the if you check out the overhead cam here, you'll see it. Right? I can, if I move my my hand, slide my hand, see, can you see the overhead cam? You see what's, look at this one here, this one, yeah? Can you see how I slide my stick? So if I play it down here, I get a low pitched rim click. And if I slide it up here, I get a high pitched rim click. And this is, there you go, this is a, this is a freebie. A one-off, right? <laughs> I've never seen anyone do this before, okay? But it's just something I've come up with, and I just I think it works really well. So when I'm playing the partido alto, now I can add pitch to my rim clicks. Subtle, isn't it? But it gives it. It gives that again. It gives you. It gives you another little ingredient in there. It's like, and I'm, and it sounds more like a percussion thing than a drum kit thing. Yeah. It's just a, it's just another layer. It's just and it bring it really brings out the party do alto part in there. I could also do that on snare. If I'm playing snare, what I'll do is I'll accent that last note of each group and I'll play a buzz note on it. Okay, and that's how I give it a little accent. See now, it's really it's really bringing out the melody of that of that rhythm, that rhythmic phrase, because we've got some pitch in there. And I think to me, this is it's like the bass drum and snare drum thing on a rock beat, boom, cha, boom, boom, cha. It's the fact you've got those two pitches and that, that up and down of the, of the sh it that's what gives the rhythm a melodic quality.